How's it going, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Pixley Wolf, Gabriel Potter, Jason Green, Base564, Grayscale, Ty Bennett, Casey, Pro Tomahawker, Lucius, Austin Davis, Anthony, Noriden XD, Boop the Snoot, Michael Tierran, Nick, Kaya the Great, Christian Andre Cavande, Seven Gates, Aaron Bates, Diablo 2604, Slivarium, Octocat, Redemption, It Silver, Aubrey Byrne, Starkiller SCP 049, Thoughtful 03 Guy, JK 844, D, Ariel, and as always, I want to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Bevan Brummett and Tavon. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. All right, here we go. Count three, one, two, three. Whee! Oh, God! 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 I just got hit by lawnmowers that were falling. <laughs> so here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. And this time, we brought a Kate. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so Kate is going to be doing her little run through on In Space with Markiplier. As you know, I did my run. Nick did his run. I mean, and we both had fairly different outcomes. There were some things that were similar, but at the end of it all, you know, it just goes to show you, like, how much effort Mark's put into this. I mean, honestly, Nick, I mean, what do you think about all this? I feel... Nick? Nick? Nick! Where'd you go? What the f... <laughs> what? What just What's happened? Going? I don't know. I... That's... Um... Uh-oh. Okay. What's going on? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've... I've used this thing twice. It's basically a big reset button. Um, yeah, for those of you who've been paying attention... Every run that we've done through of this, I have hit this at a very opportune time to reset things, but it hasn't built up enough charge yet, and it doesn't really build up enough charge until basically we've ran through this enough. Maybe if we run through this again, and I hit this and reset the whole timeline, maybe Nick will come back. I mean, I don't know, but... I guess we can try it. I guess so, and, well, I guess... okay. Where it's your turn, I mean, oh. I guess you get to do a run through of it. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, anyway, uh, sorry, I forgot to put it up on screen. Okay, so what we have here, let's go ahead and get that up on screen. There we go. Now let's put it back over here, and then just, uh, hit play, and then, uh, the choices will commence. Okay. All up to you, Kate. Mm -hmm. In space with Markiplier. He's done these events basically every few years. Mm -hmm. He uh, makes like a point and click adventure mm -hmm. for you to choose what you want to do. I mean, he did one where it's like who murdered Markiplier, a date with Markiplier, heist with Markiplier, now in space with Markiplier. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what the next one's going to be. I've heard it's like under the sea with Markiplier. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that, that's going to be. This in space one is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, look at, the, I mean, just the, this like, all the effort he's put into this alone. Well, he wrote and directed all of this, so, mm -hmm. well, uh, he had a co-director, like, help him with, like, secondary stuff, but overall, yeah, this, just the fact that this exists is still amazing to me. It looks so good. Yes, it does. The oh, Invincible 2. <laughs> That's hilarious. What happened to the Invincible 1? I'm sorry, no, I'm staring at that. Huge fan. Huge fan, been following your career for quite a while now. Invisible Tower, this is Shuttle Marmota, approaching docking bay four. Closing the blast shields. Shuttle Marmota, you're clear to dock. Yeah, copy you. <laughs> Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. We couldn't afford to show that. <laughs> exactly where we're at. Check it out. We're gonna land in five. <laughs> Captain. We're here early. I gotta say it's an honor. You know, I think maybe uh, we can hang out or something. Go get a cup of coffee, but you know, beer's cool. 
Welcome aboard the Invincible 2, Captain. Glad to have you here. Took you long enough. But let me give you the grand tour before we embark. This is my pride and joy. My baby. Well, your baby, I guess now. But I made her. And a baby will always remember. Father. Well, I understand. Welcome aboard, Captain and Hat Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. Ah! First stop, the warp core. Hello, the heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works uh, in order to use it. Um, I don't think that's accurate, Mark. It, again, it passed every safety test with flying colors. It's not going to be like last time. <laughs> <laughs> this time the oh, God, my eyes! going to live up to her name. But just in case, I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. Hmm. Speaking of hmm. explosives, the main reactor. Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole, so a star I built. Built like a tank, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That ain't good. No bueno. No bueno. Captain? Hi, Bert. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's Bert. He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Cryo. Hey, hey. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Hmm. Systems are hmm. working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. Yeah, uh, you do not want to be awake when the sorry. warp core hits okay. the gas. Here, here. Uh, just hmm. put it over here on this screen. Yeah, we're good. Cece. Asshat. Captain, all colonists are prepped <laughs> and stable. 100,000 souls ready for a new life. Let's get them there safe. Oh, don't worry. Before they know it, they're going to wake up at the side of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. Besides, what could go wrong with a crew like this? ADS is good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. Oh. Sorry, excuse me. Oh no, Captain, I'm falling. Catch me! <laughs> Damn it, Dan. Navigation is online, Captain. Engine Brian and Matt. Good, Captain. Life support God. is online, unless it's not, and then we wouldn't know until we passed out. Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. All that's left now. Yeah. It's for you to say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. So, uh, to the future and to safe travels and uh, try not to die, everyone. Warp core engaged. <laughs> Wormhole opening in thirty seconds. All personnel report to your assigned crime pod. Oh, it's all right, Captain. I, ooh, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course, but just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure that do not one hole Do not what? Nine, eight, seven, six, is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? Seriously? Whoa. 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 Uh. What just happened? We went through a wormhole apparently and... Ah! Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship state is absolutely catastrophic. Uh-oh. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. Emergency wakey wakey. Whoa! Mm. Uh. Reviving head engineer. Oh! Whoa. Oh god! What the hell is Oh! Well there goes Mark! Whoa! Well that's Unfortunate. Fire on the bridge. Life support 
Um, Automatic fire suppression system offline. Oh well, crap. Okay. So pick one. Fi fix life support. Uh, bring it over this way. Fix life support or put out the fire. I would say life support probably because you know you can't really breathe. With yeah. There you go. Warning. No weapons get attached to prevent life support. Warning. Oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. Woo. There you go. Oxygen levels rising. Good news, Captain. The momentary lapse in oxygen extinguished the fire on the bridge. Oh, it did both. Brace for impact. Oh. Oh. Asteroid defense system is working Asteroid defense system, so... The captain. The asteroid defense system is working at 100% efficiency. Any vibrations you are feeling uncertain, the gun is working to keep you safe. Uh-oh. I said the asteroid defense system is... Fine. Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Jesus! Well, now what? Uh, wake the crew or wear a disguise. I would say, wear a disguise. Why? Uh, wake the crew. Wake the crew. I'd say. Initiating wakey wakey protocol for good to be Gunnarsson, head of asteroid. Gunther B. Gunnarsson. What a name. <laughs> the B stands for bullet. And I heard you had a little problem on your hands, Cap. I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. You rogue drones ain't gonna get the best of me. Oh, Jesus. Problem solved, Cap. Well, there you go. Give me a challenge. You feel that? Kind of cold in here. Alert. Coolant leak in cryo. Oh, oh no. That is no good, Captain. Uh, I, I gotta go check on ADS. Good luck with that. Wait. Uh, uh. Oh, man. Damn it. Now what? How cold are we talking? Ooh. Oh. Oh, that ain't good. Warning. Colonist core temperature rising. Irreparable harm will occur if the colonist stasis temperatures continue to rise. Manual intervention is required, Captain. Uh, I, I mean, you choose. No! Oh God! Oh! Oops! Oopsies! I didn't know. Do I gotta start over. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. The current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Well, oh, I started over, right? It, oh, it's uh, we're back here at the where you got ejected from the. Wait, you know what's coming, so. Reviving head engineer. Captain, what the hell is going on? Take my hand. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> So Mark's taking care of life support, you're taking care of the fire. Okay. Whoa. 
Don't what? open the door. Don't wake the captain. That's a lot of lines. Like, days? Stop hogging my air. Shh. Sleepy head. Oh. Hi there. Um. Support back online. I still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. You just had to say it, didn't you? Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean, no? Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? ADS offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? This doesn't make any sense. We got asteroids hitting the ship, but our guns aren't shooting them down. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, there's still guns, so you know, we should just be able to point them. Oh, no! The asteroid defense system is. Uh oh! Jesus! Well, that's new. Something's gone wrong with the computer. The drones shouldn't be able to attack the crew. I programmed them myself. Right, no, that's not a guarantee. But something's clearly changed. We gotta fix ADS or we're gonna get blasted a bit. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Pretty much exactly like old times, actually. Just what happened to the first one this But they didn't have you! I know you got a plan to save us cooking up in that big brain of yours. I can see the wheels turn. So, you face the odds and I guess wake the crew again, because that worked last time. Got a plan, Captain? Oh, yeah. Good idea. Gunther should be able to handle this. So basically just yes, like last I time. Can. I heard you had a little problem on your hands, Captain. Well, I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. A few rogue drones ain't gonna get the best of me. I'll do my best what? if you think I'm the right person for the job. Well, not my first choice. But the captain is the captain. So Wait, Ms. what? Walker, we need you to get in oh, the no, asteroid. No, I'm not married anymore, young man. Care for a cookie? Uh-oh. Sure. Would love one. Appreciate it. Miss Whitaker, we need you to get in the asteroid defense system and fix it. No. Why? Well, when the captain tells you to do something, you best well get it done, I always say. And there's no problem a plate of cookies can't solve. What? Oh, God. This is not going to end well. She's going to get demolished. Hello, no. Oh. oh, damn, no. Miss Whitaker. Oh. Warning, large object on collision course with ship. Brace for impact. Fail again. <laughs> Whoa, what the f Software update complete. Oh god, what the f Jobs done? Fuck. Job done, Captain. We did it. What did we do? Asteroid defense system online. Oh. 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 What? How do we get here? Warning. Cooler leak in cryo. Oh, can we move? Oh. Uh, okay. Well, Captain, I guess we gotta fix that problem. <laughs> Do you remember what the problem was? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess wake the crew this time? Because, you know, we tried to call for backup last time and for some reason the, a helicopter crashed into us. I remember what that's from. That's from, uh... But I swear, if she starts questioning my design... What stupid design is called problem again, Captain? Why, no, Dr. Kelvina. They did but it seems like there's a leak in your coolant system, though. Well, it's probably because you put a fusion reactor next to my cryo bay. Oh, I put a fusion reactor next to your cryo bay because the magnetic field project sure called it. Oh, no. Why don't you just put more glass windows on a spaceship, you idiot? Oh, my mother. Oh, Look man. What? Look at skin and bones. Would you like a cookie, dearie? Oh, wait, there's a problem in cryo. Uh, do you have any experience? Oh, no. Yeah, there's a leak. Wait. 
in the pool. The colonists! Yeah, we should. Yeah, we need to do something. Oh uh, no. What uh, Mrs. Whitaker, it's very cold in there. Oh my gosh, really? Are we gonna sacrifice Miss Whitaker again? Please don't! She's like an old babushka lady! <laughs> oh, oh no! Is she gonna fix it? What? Warning, colonists call temperature rising beyond unsafe levels. What? Oh, great. Not to worry, Jerry. Turns out there's a radiator right next door. No! Don't! Oh, God! Oh. Well. Oops. Well, there goes the Invincible 2. So much for the namesake. Ah, here we go again. <laughs> Time to wake up, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Did we make it? Paradox. Paradox. Detective. Detective. <laughs> well, uh, Whoa. I think we broke it. Good job, Captain. But what did you do? And why are we in cryo? Warning the time zone. Why? I said warning. Reactor overload imminent. Okay, I guess. Or not. Whatever. I, I do know that the reactor going kablooey is real bad, so Captain, we gotta do something. We gotta do it now. Come on, let's move. <laughs> how can you know how when you're in a dream and you're trying to run? You can't get anywhere. Yeah. I feel like you're not making any progress. Yeah, all the time. I feel like that right about now. And also, it's, it's called my life. Behind this door is gonna kill us. So, maybe don't open it. I'll defer to you. Uh, you have the plans, right? I mean, you always do. You choose. I don't know. Captain, wait. You're not going to the airlock, are you? Okay, great. Sorry, Captain. For some reason, and I know it's crazy, I had this bizarre feeling like you were gonna throw yourself out of the ship's airlock. <laughs> like I could see it in my mind's eye. Didn't... Captain, no! I knew what? it. What? I knew you were gonna throw yourself out of the airlock. How did I know? Fix it from the outside. Wait. Oh. There's a problem with that. Well, shit. <laughs> Why do I always take the wrong thing? Ah, oh, damn it! Here we go again. <laughs> Good morning, Captain. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is nominal. Huh? Oh, morning, Captain. How'd you sleep? Good. Oh, uh, are we early? I didn't expect. Uh, I'm flattered, but could you let go of my hand? Thank you. <laughs> Captain, are you feeling okay? Oh, hi. How 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 are you? Morning, Captain. Did you sleep well? Uh, what the hell is going on? Everyone's got Not these creepy smiles. single asteroid tried to hit us this whole journey. Which is some pretty good luck. You're a boring pansy. But don't worry, Captain. I'll find something to shoot. Uh, something to shoot. Captain, all colonists are healthy and accounted for. I might even owe Mark an apology. Maybe. <laughs> he shot her. <laughs> Oh, why, mm, Gunther? Why? Hey. The fishermen know that the sea is dangerous and the storm terrible, but they've never found these dangers sufficient reason to remain ashore. Uh, Bob? Uh, I mean, Bert? Can I get through? Thank you. It, that same injured dude again. Damn How do you fast. get all the way over Captain? there? He must be very you fast. Seem a little stressed. I know that cryosleep can affect everyone differently. Why is he but just coffee always standing there? Yeah, that like dude that. just standing there with a thumb out, like. You did it. You got us here safely. Oh, God. He, 
Take a moment to enjoy. Huh. This mug uh, is actually a bomb? I think. No! Oh! Alert! Warp core cannot what? be reached. What? Computer, what's wrong with the warp core? Warp core cannot be reached. I know you can't reach it, but what's wrong with it? I don't know what's happening, Captain, but it can't be good. Oh no! That did not look good. Well, that's a new. Oh yeah, good idea. Captain, I oh. know what that is, but I know bad news when I see it, and that is bad news. We got to get back to the bridge right now. Oh, uh, I wonder if this is what happened to the first invincible, but they didn't have plans. Oh, or yeah. Uh, so well. And there he is again, still waving at you, just like, hey. Captain, Mark our ass is stuck in a wormhole. No, I did. No, maybe I did. Oh, no. What? My so God. that's what's been happening. Every time we die, we go Mark into the wormhole in and we restart. Oh. All stress is redlining across all decks. How did Mark even cause this one to damage? Activate the protocol! Oh. <laughs> Event Horizon Protocol. Event Horizon Protocol activation successful. Ship is free from the effects of the wormhole that was caused by Mark. Yeah. You knew it! You knew something was wrong, and boy, were you glad to prove it. With the Event Horizon Protocol initiated, the ship was finally free from the devastating effects of the wormhole. Although left to drift among the stars, luckily, you just so happened to end up in a system with a beautiful planet suitable for habitation. Mm. Humanity's first colony among the stars would be a smashing success. The colonists celebrated this momentous occasion and eagerly awaited setting foot on this wonderful new planet. But you kept the colonists aboard the ship for a while. You needed time to check the planet for it, after all. When they asked you what it was, you simply responded that it was whatever they wanted to happen as soon as you let your guard down. Your crew didn't feel the need to question you further, and were more than happy to wait a few years aboard the ship while you finished scouring every corner of the planet for it. But once your checks were complete, the colony positively thrived. After you built an extensive network of defense systems and surveillance systems, of course. You knew that it was still out there, just waiting for the right moment to strike. And with those Ooh. systems in place, your people enjoyed the bounties of a practically idyllic planet. They also enjoyed the bounty of bi-daily random security screens. Wouldn't want it to show up in the middle of a supervised safety meal, now would we? But your people were happy when you allowed them to be. After all, happiness could lead to complacency, which could be disastrous when it eventually struck. But that was never going to happen. Not under your watchful eye. The colony would be safe from them for many, many years. You made sure of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, damn it. Shit. Here we go again. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Oh, current damn it all. Oh, I'd be angry too. Woo! Damn it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Son of a bitch! 
Does this feel good? Yeah, I do. No need. Fire on the bridge. Fire extinguished. Life support systems fail. Oxygen levels rising. Asteroid defense system is offline. Asteroid defense system online. Warning. Cooling leak in chronic. You were meant to click, like, here's the thing, you were meant to click on it, neither of them were actually real. Oh. They were actually just like... then you were going to undo all of the damage that you have done. Huh, okay, look, um, lady, first of all, welcome to our ship, and I know it looks bad, but usually it's a lot better. Not you. You. Eh? Everything that you destroyed, everyone that you have killed, you are going to undo everything right here, right now. Warning, reactor overload. Oh! Oh, shit. oh god, we get knocked in. We get knocked into the warp core. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, it's the warp core. So it is down here. Hey, maybe we're not all gonna die after all. Oh wow. Okay, well I've gotta be one of these. So I'll try that one over there. You get the big one. Quick! falling through that door and then ending up in the center of a star and then slowly feeling the flesh melt from my bones but i'm alive and you're alive and i remember and you remember right this is incredible computer activate the emergency repair protocol oopsie boopsie protocol engaged oopsie whoopsie protocol <laughs> damn it oops you're good, you're good. it's okay system rebooted Reviving crew. Uh -oh. Backup systems in It's stuck on the little okay. mute thing. Oh down there. Uh, computer, can you it's shut okay. down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay, so the wormhole's still a problem, and my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two immortal gods like us. The way I see it, all we need to do is keep jumping in, and eventually we'll find the right door, we'll get to the warp core, shut it down, save the colonists. And then you and me can enjoy our newfound powers until they slowly drive us mad and turn us away from everything we know and love. Mm -hmm. Uh. So what do you say? Come on, let's jump in again. What's the worst that could happen? We can die. Jump in again or call an emergency that wasn't, meeting. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Cannonball! <laughs> we'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time, too. So, this time, I'll dash right, you dash right. Oh, God! Oh, man! Holy shit! Well, that could've ended better. Ah, okay. 
uh, not quite what I expected. But now we know what not to do. So, what do you say? Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. We'll definitely get it this time. Probably. Definitely. <laughs> Emergency meeting. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. They deserve to know what's happening. And they might have some ideas how to solve this. Probably not good ones. Damn it. Thank you for such an upfront and thorough explanation <laughs> of the situation. The mark of a great leader, always being open and honest with the crew, never holding anything back. Sweetest things turn sour by their deeds. A lily that festers smells far worse than weeds. What? Uh, uh, bottom line uh, what? is, we need to get to the warp core and shut it down. It's having effects that I never could have predicted. The captain and I, we've tried some things, but we need fresh ideas. Yeah. Have you tried blowing it up? Obviously, um. you tried blowing it up. Look who you're working with. Uh, no, we haven't. But that is a good idea. No, I'm it's not. not. You know nothing about wormholes. You could actually cause a falls vacuum collapse. Well, no, we wouldn't. And also, that's impossible. I what think. if we back the ship up into the wormhole? Uh. What well, if we pop her in reverse and just undo all the wormhole stuff? Would that work? Okay, Mark, I owe you an apology because Would obviously you're the stupidest person on this ship. Thank you. Hey, Captain, <laughs> nice stuff. Clearly, we need to send out a distress signal because someone sabotaged this ship. You know, now that she mentions it, some of the damage on the ship did seem intentional. I think someone needs to go over every inch of this ship and do some rat. No, 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 no. no one sabotages the ship because the only two people that can change anything on the ship are me and the captain. And the only person that I trust more than myself is the captain. And two, how could anybody find Bro us fist. if we don't know where we are? That's my point exactly. We don't know where we are, we don't know how we got here, and we have the lives of the colonists at stake. Or hear me out. I I'd love the commitment, Bert. Sorry, it's not up to But I don't know if that'll work. They haven't let us down yet. I mean, if we send out a distress signal, who knows what'll be there, but at the same time, if we pop her in reverse, I don't know what'll work. What's the plan? I mean, your choice. How are we getting Distress signal or pop it in reverse? All right, distress signal it is. Thank you, Captain. This is the right move. Come on, guys, let's get this ship secured. Understood, Cap. But if you need some, just let me know. This is why I don't talk. Definitely the right move, Cap. <laughs> Not that it isn't the right move. It's a great move. Best move, actually. Why don't you send the distress signal and see how good a move it is? Not that it's gonna help. Boop. Broadcasting signal. All right, that should do it. I guess I should look into some of the problems we've been having, though. I hate to admit it, but Celsius might be onto something. Nobody should have been able to reprogram those drones. Unless... Alert! Unknown vessel approaching. What? Is it human? No. What is it? Warning, unknown vessel is locking onto the ship. Uh -oh. Energy is spiking. Computer evasive maneuvers! Unable to comply. We are still stuck in the wormhole. Oh. Uh -huh. Unknown vessel is activating some kind of... Uh, uh oh. Captain, what just happened? <laughs> Did we die again? Hi. Oh. Um, hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, okay. Alien? Uh, hello. I am Mark. And as a representative of humanity, I would love to welcome uh, us. Uh, 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 I, we come in peace, and we are here to share our mutual respect, admiration, our, our culture. Oh, God. Human! Human! You! Near! Die! You! Much! Danger! I! You! Eat! Oh! What? I, you eat. I, I you eat. eat. Oops. Sorry. Yes, it's okay. okay. It happens. Damn it. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Or do you like? Oh god. Attack or don't attack? I mean, 
Mm. I you eat. I. Uh. I don't know. Here we go. Guy? Oh. You broke peace. Whoa. War. Earn more. Earn more. Earn more. Oh. Ow. Whoa. Yeah. So good for us, eh, Captain? <laughs> oh well. That's putting it lightly. You can't win them all. <laughs> all problems solved. Well, not all problems. Not the problem of my broken heart. Oh no. Some problems can't be solved with the swing of the fist, no matter how strong you are. When the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. The kind of wound that leads you down. The captain looked right through me with those baby gray eyes. The kind of look that could kill. Your eyes are brown. Looks yeah. that could kill match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, right. You're fine. And maybe someday I'll destroy the universe. So, Captain, got any other ideas to get us out of this mess? Or, uh, you're just happy to see me. I was gonna say, what did the distress signal do for us? It got us kidnapped and killed, basically. There you go. <laughs> Fire all the weapons. You say that, Captain. I've been itching to get some payback on this wormhole for all the hell it's put us through. But why couldn't I shake the terrible feeling clutching my heart? Pulling the trigger felt right. I wanted to do it, but at the same time, in the back of my mind, I suspected that this would come back to haunt us. Uh, Looks like that's that. You did it, Captain. I always believed in My phone? Hello? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. It's for you. Uh, hello? It's me, the wormhole. I bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? Oh, I gotta admit. It was a pretty good shot, but when you shoot the kill, you better make sure they're dead, because they might just come shooting back. I'm coming for you, Captain! Well, shit. Wrong number? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they both got trilbies on. And we and we just got lit up by the freaking wormhole, really? <laughs> With a sucking whoosh and a swirl of blue energy, the captain yeah? of the Invincible 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. The captain looks around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and pull the emergency release to free them from the confines of their cryogenic prison. Stepping out of the pod, the captain wonders to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory doomed to endlessly repeat the mistakes of the past. The oh captain's intrepid engineer also wonders the same as they emerge from their pod. Captain, do you hear something? The captain laughs a boisterous laugh at what is, obviously, another one of Mark's hilarious rooms. Mark must still be delirious from the after effects of cryogenic slumber. Right. Now, to be honest, we gotta say, if I had someone narrating my life, I'd probably want to be Morgan Freeman or someone so like that. Skip ahead a few yeah. pages and get to our good friend, what? Wait, what viewers? Wait, what, what did you say? What viewers? Uh? What? Oh! You! 
Wug, being the stoic, battle-hardened brute that he is, is unfazed by this new turn of events and proceeds to extract the English language out of Mark's soft, supple skull. What? Wait, was that it? What he was doing? One yeah. The ship to the space oh! Rest. You didn't realize that? Well, he was... I wasn't sure food. if he... I was... Oh, sorry. He was That's totally learning how to speak fast food restaurant. Okay. in the same language. The ship arrives at the uh. Universal Stability Agency. Oh, uh, Wug removes the helmet from Mark's soft, supple skull. Oh, Owie. And so our intrepid adventurers have arrived at the Universal Stability Agency. But is it too late for them to stop the rampaging wormhole that they have unleashed upon the cosmos? The captain thinks back to all the faces of the colonists under their care. Will they be able to save them? Or will they be doomed forever to suffer the same fate over and over again? And will Mark ever learn the captain's deep, dark secret? What, what? Only what? one way to find out. And what was that about a deep dark secret? The bandit enters. What? The bandit leaves. What? You! What have you done? Not so fast. Now we get to the interrogation. You are destroying everything. The bandit knocks out Lee. Huh? What? <clears throat> I said the bandit knocks out lady. That's not my name. And no, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> it's so hard not working with professionals. A vent cover falls on lady's head. I said that's not my name. What the hell? Well, oh, damn. And back to the ship. There we are, back on track. And not a moment too soon. With the device from the bandit in hand, our intrepid captain now has the tools necessary to make their way to the warp core without further delay. But will the twisting holes of the invincible tube? I'm sorry. Tube, what did you say they have? The uh, uh the ah, uh, the portable temporal displacement device. You know, the MacGuffin that allows our captain to navigate the chaos that is this ship. I didn't give them anything like that. Oh my God. Okay. The captain looks down and sees the device. It glows. The captain oh. can get to the warp core now. They just have to find it there. All you need to do now is use the device and you'll be well on your way to part two of this whole ordeal. So the real business can begin. I'm sorry. Part two? What does that mean? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh! And the narrator's a dick! So confused. Captain, Captain, I don't know what the hell's going on. But if there's another option that gets us out of here that doesn't involve listening to a crazy voice in our head, we might want to take that one. There is no other option written here. The next page literally says the captain uses the device and in a flash of blinding light is transported to uh, another universe. There's no other way. You must move forward. I can't do everything for you. To hell with it. Plank. I, like, you, whatever you want to do. Like, Plank K for Kate. <laughs> oh, hey! There you go. What are you doing? What's up, Captain? You got a plan? No, no, no. That is not part of the story. You can't do that. This is extremely illogical, and I won't have it. That is a ridiculously big button. <laughs> pen. Hold on. Uh, what is that? Is that good? That's not good, Captain. What are you doing? Don't do what I think. No, 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 no. What? Are you waiting for me? All right, fine. The ship blows up, I guess. Unbelievable. You deserve what's coming to you. If we go back to the damn cryo chamber. Oh my god. Wait, it's not. It's not Having on. Fun, Captain. Oh. Oh. You know. They say every choice spawns a new universe. And if that's the case, Miss Whitaker. What kind of universes do you think your choices have been making? You haven't been working very hard to save your crew, have you, Captain? Uh, oops. What's one choice among the infinite, you might ask? 
One mistake is not all. And it's true, not all choices matter. Some choices. Captain, some choices are everything. So, I'm gonna make this easy for you. I'm only going to give you one choice. This portal will take you right where you need to be. All you have to do is step inside. Don't you want to save your people? You're the I, only one who can. I, 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 Think long and hard about well, this, Captain. I, well, now... Do you understand the I, ramifications of your decision? Guess we're not doing it. Yeah. Screw you. Sorry. <laughs> A big middle <laughs> finger. Uh-oh. Looking for this? Oh, Captain. I can't say I'm surprised. You always were stubborn. But that's your choice. You always did have a choice. I just thought you might want to at least understand the choices you're making. Do you even know who you are? Or did I die? Do you feel like you've been here before? Or is this just history repeating itself? Over and over and over. Miss Whitaker, Miss uh, Miss Whitaker, uh, can I have a cookie? Creepy. That's creepy as hell. She looks super creepy. Yeah. Oh, hey. Didn't mean to hit you in the back of the head, bud. Oh, there she is again. Creepy too. Bert, Bert, put the wrench down, Bert. She looks constipated. <laughs> she looks like she's very worried. Bah. Ah, yes. Part two, as you probably notice up at the top. In Space with Markiplier, part one. Part two of this, basically what finishes this whole damn thing off, will release um, early next early next month. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I didn't finish it, though, did I? Well, no, this is an ending. Oh. So, you, you oh. reached an ending. You oh, actually okay. got an ending that neither Nick or I got. Did you guys get the same one? Uh, basically, yes. Uh, there is, uh, from what I understand, there is one more ending, one more that basically gives us an entirely different, uh, set, uh, an entirely different ending, but I haven't found it yet. Oh. And I'm waiting until everyone else has their shot at it, and if we see it, awesome. I mean, hell, I got to see an ending I hadn't seen before. <laughs> Mrs. Whitaker's in, or, I'm sorry, she's not married anymore. Miss Whitaker's Ms. ending. Miss Whitaker. Miss Whitaker. Yeah, so, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you. So, yeah, that was, uh, In Space with Markiplier, part I one. I failed epically. <laughs> you didn't fail. You actually succeeded in a fairly good way. Well, at least you guys were able, you know, everybody could see a different ending. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, and honestly, I think, uh, oh, hey, it's charged up again. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, hopefully with this we can get Nick back. And if not, I mean, who knows? Maybe we will wind up with something else. Maybe someone else will show up and go through this with me. 
And then by the end of all this, maybe Nick will come back. I mean, I don't know. I mean, well, I gotta be honest. Here. I admit, I gotta be honest. I'm starting to miss him. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, everyone, thank you all very much for tuning in. I want to thank Kate for going through this with me. And uh, I guess uh, gotta wait for part two now. Yeah. And we'll see how that goes. So until next time, everyone, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.